There's nothing more inspirational than seeing some of our favorite celebs break stereotypes, you guys. I have three this week alone. Mm -hmm. So let's break it down. Zendaya, mm -hmm. she's got a new clothing line out. This clothing line is for girls and guys, she says. Hmm. Okay. Sizes zero to 22. Wow. Yes. Um, so BuzzFeed went and they did this whole thing where they had a bunch of their girls of all different sizes try on the clothes, like mm -hmm. side by side, and kind of get their thoughts and feels on it. Mm -hmm. um, and Zendaya even said, like, gender fluidity is really important to her. And um, also just, like, making clothes that are comfortable for everybody. Yeah, and okay. the girls, their reactions to it definitely echoed that a lot. One of the girls had said that she loved the idea of, like, plus-size clothing stores for plus-size girls like herself. But she also got jealous growing up that her friends got to wear clothes that she didn't or shop at stores that she didn't feel comfortable right. going into and mm -hmm. she was like this is the first time I feel like I'm equal which is awesome mm -hmm. but you guys these clothes on these girls I've seen some of them it's amazing oh, yeah. I haven't seen them yet like, she had pop-up cool. shops for them like a couple like last weekend I think mm -hmm. packed with all kinds of people in line trying wow. stuff on cool stuff. Wait, so I have a question. So is it one piece of clothing in different sizes or it's like here's the size different kind of clothing? Well, it's it's a bunch of different clothing yeah. pieces, okay. but she's designed them so that they suit a Every size style. 2 or to a size so 14 like to a size 22. This it. was one of Zendaya's pieces. It would, it would range from right. size 0 to Got 22. Like so that. okay. somebody that's four times the size of Sinead could also wear this outfit and look yeah. The same, have the same Like it was style. made for them. It was right. made yeah. for them. That's the most important thing because, like, one pair of jeans, like a skinny pair of jeans, needs to be, like, fit differently mm -hmm. for bigger girls right. or skinnier girls, too. Yeah. But I just love this because Zendaya to me is so, she's so empowering and she's yeah. so young. I look mm -hmm. up to her so much because she's one of those girls that are always trying to push society forward, yeah. which is so important right and now. And I feel like if anyone were to release a fashion line, it should be Zendaya, because we literally oh, talk about God. the every, fashion down. Yeah, every time we do an episode yeah. of Dirty Laundry, she is at the top of everyone's list, and she's not afraid to try different things, and mm -hmm. she always looks good, so congratulations to her. So that's the perfect mix, because she cares enough about fashion, but also about totally. people that yeah. like to combine those things. Right. It's perfect. And yeah, what totally. you were saying, it is so true to who she is. Like, she's always been boundaries she's always speaking up for people that don't have a voice so I feel like this clothing line is totally her and I, I want I want to go shopping you guys best part <laughs> oh about this too everything under clothing line is less than $160 oh, and nice. it's nice clothes like okay it's, so it's like fancier than H&M but like almost the same as Topshop Yes, kind of, <laughs> es essentially. Sure. Whatever. Aww. It's still cute. Aww. Okay. Would you wear them, though? That's like... Well, some... I mean, I wouldn't wear every single piece that I saw on mm -hmm. BuzzFeed, but there is, like, one... This one jacket that had, like, these patches on it that literally mm. is something I would wear every day. Yeah. And some of those body suits and, like, these... She had these awesome jeans with, like, these patches on them. All right. They're very fashionable. I don't know how her brain works because, for me, I'm like, all right, I need to put clothes on, so I'm going to put a jeans and, and a t-shirt right, on. Right, right. I don't think in terms of, like, oh, yeah. the way things fit and she her brain is I feel like she's been surrounded by that world for a oh long time God. though like she's had people dressing her she's been in the world of fashion for a long time so yeah. I think good on her who else is doing good all right so Ashley Graham so we know mm -hmm. Ashley Graham she got like mega famous off of literally one video or one photo mm -hmm. back wait in really the day. yeah that's it was it, one photo it that was got... one photo that really oh. took off and then obviously she was in the cover of Sports Illustrated the swimsuit right. edition which already was breaking a huge stereotype because we'd never seen a plus size model come of take over right. the modeling right. world. Right. So she was um, honored at the Glamour Women of the Year, uh, like their big summit. They uh, they honor a bunch of women, including Zendaya, actually. Mm -hmm. And Ashley Graham revealed her new Barbie doll. Oh my god! This is every girl's dream come true. You Honestly. guys, uh, if I had a Barbie doll, in <laughs> I would be the happiest person ever. But okay, Ashley Graham's Barbie doll looks exactly like her. She's curvy, her thighs touch, which is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And she even has matching like birthmarks, oh, you guys. Wasn't that like her one requirement was her, that her thighs had to like touch? touch she yes. said that that was her biggest priority. She even made a joke and said like, she told them like, I want cellulite. And they're like, uh, this like, is plastic. How do we do we that? can't do that. And she's like, all right, well, whatever. 
her. <laughs> but she did say, yes, those thighs do touch because my thighs touch. And if they don't touch, then this isn't a Barbie that's that's, representative. Mm, that's yeah. representative of being a curvy girl because being a plus size model means your thighs touch, no. which is so yes. awesome. And back in January, Mattel had released like those three new body types. I think they were like slender, like curvy, or like athletic. <laughs> yeah, it's so <laughs> weird to think about. Like, I, know. I want the athletic Barbie. <laughs> but no, but it's it awesome. really cool because growing up, I only had one size Barbie. They all, I would say, were probably like a C cup, and they all looked the same. And yeah, they were probably so, all white. And they were all white. I had that one black Dar Barbie but she was the collector item one, the one that you just don't, you don't get out and out play. Box, you yeah. just leave it in the box. So I think it's so cool. We are seeing, like Zendaya, she has she a Barbie, Barbie doll yeah. with dreads, and then now we're seeing this with a different size. I just wish I was still playing with Barbies so that I could have one that has curly hairs and that got a little junk in yeah. the trunk. Well, that's, you what, know? that's what she said. She said if when she was growing up, if there were Barbie dolls that looked like her, she would have felt like her body was normal. Right. And I think as a little important. girl, you see uh, you, something you play with every single day looks right. a certain way. You don't look like them. You're wondering, why don't I look like that? And she's mm -hmm. like, that's the coolest part about that is that now little girls get to play with these dolls and see a body type that is representative of who they are. Right. And of all of a sudden, it's like instilling confidence from a very young age, which I think is so cool. And I think she's a uh, walking proof of that as well. Yeah. I mean, she yeah. is being utilized in so many many different on right. so many different platforms that people are now growing up hopefully thinking that their body types I mean are like DNC put her in their music yes. video and she's like getting all steamy and sexy with Joe Jonas and it's like you can be a leading lady and yes. like be sexy like that yeah. and not even that she is breaking so many barriers she's she's even on America's next top model and she is like coaching the girls telling them you know, one girl was like falling with her high heel and she was like look I'm a size uh, tw what 12 or I don't know what size she is but she said I'm a size this don't complain about walking in high heels I have to nobody has her size shoe that's what right. she was saying so yeah. I just love that she not only is doing America's Next Top Model she's got a Barbie and she's leading lady like this girl I just I love her so yeah. much I and that's like literally her. why they honored her at the glamour summit too just because they want to push these women who are breaking all these stereotypes yeah. and they're like, this girl is it, you guys. Mm -hmm. She is changing yeah. fashion yeah. as we know it and beauty as we know it. Mm -hmm. um, okay, speaking of beauty though, 17 years old, his name is James Charles. <laughs> he is a mega like <sighs> internet sensation right now because he is a makeup artist and obviously got a lot of um, exposure from his senior pictures. He had like this amazing oh, lighting. Yeah. Everyone was like, <laughs> <laughs> I do remember. Oh, oh, like, the senior pictures, he had his so like beautiful. tux on and like the perfect pose. He is face. so beautiful. Yeah. He is the first ever male cover girl. And it is, this is like history being made because yeah. it's not even something, I don't think people even necessarily were like, it has to be a girl. That's just the only way we've ever known it. Right. And yeah. he kind of went from zero to 100 overnight because people were giving him so much attention. And then after those senior pictures came out, CoverGirl was like, you know what? Dude, it's 2016, let's do this. He is a sweetheart. He mm. went on Ellen and talked about like coming out. That's another thing, he's also gay. So not only is a guy, he's a gay guy, which is amazing in terms right. of like mainstream like beauty and media. Right. And he just talked about like his love of makeup and what this means for his career mm -hmm. as well. Like he genuinely loves makeup and loves the idea of like putting makeup on his face. I think yeah. he's... I think he's perfect for this. I just like the idea of nowadays that you have the opportunity to drive traffic for brands to recognize that and crown something like the first man ever to become a cover girl. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. just think that's crazy. Yeah, and I was really excited. I walked into Sephora the other day and one of the models for one of the makeup products, there was two guys that were modeling the makeup and I was like, this is great because not only women wear makeup, guys wear makeup too. Yeah. And um, just for him to be a cover girl and be so proud about the makeup, he knows how to beat that face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I just, like you were saying, like this whole, everything that we're talking about, it's really changing the mindset of like everything that we're used to, the norm, fashion, makeup, like, all of it's well, changing, and I think it's just, it's, it's awesome. Like actually basing things on talent and right. like that kind of stuff rather than what we're just looking at. Totally, yeah. like, because yeah, that, that's yeah. exactly what it comes down to, because if they wanted to go with the norm, what we think is the norm, or what we've been led to believe is the norm, they would go with the girl. But they're the like, Taylor who's Swift. the most talented yeah. person? Right. This guy knows what he's doing. James, he's 17, you guys. Yeah. Talented. His life is just 
set. He's oh. just set. <laughs> well, let's hope so. I'm glad we're taking a few steps forward after a big step back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. That was a good one, yes. Rylan. Yes. That was a good one. Right, you been all day. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting. I'm glad it felt right. All right. Hey, you guys, let us know what you think in the comment section below. And then you beautiful people can click over to the left to watch all of us read the meanest or the mean comments that you have left on this show. Or click over to the right to watch us recast friends.